Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project, and I'm here to talk a little bit about this. This is my Boss RC3 Loop Station pedal, and it is awesome. It is fantastic, man. It's fantastic. Uh, still been trying to get my feet wet with this little thing here. Uh, it does take a 9 volt, but man... These, uh, if you watched my vlog earlier, these things here, <laughs> it, it don't work. It, it, I think it worked for maybe 10 minutes. So I think you'd have to really throw down some money for maybe a Duracell or an Energizer, I guess. The best thing to do is just use the power supply. That's what I've been doing. Um, the bad thing is I only have one power supply. I need to go buy another one so I can use it on my other pedal as well. But... There will be a review of that pedal coming soon. The Dispatch Master. Golly. That pedal is phenomenal for, for the little bit of time that I've messed with it. Uh, but right now I want to talk about this RC3 loop station. It's got, uh, as you'll see in this next clip, it's got like some built-in drum beats. It's nothing fancy, but it's enough to get you by to, you know, get your, uh, your feel and your timing and everything. Uh, so here it comes this uh, piece I did just a minute ago it's called chasing the sun and I'm just using the fender squire that's it man fender squire I wanted to keep it real basic and I'm I'm going through uh, uh, my Digitech RP 1000 on the floor I don't know if you can see it or not uh, nah can't see it anyway Digitech RP 1000 and I put this behind it so I'm going into the guitar and then the stuff coming out, going into this out and then into the recorder. You know, if you put it in front, it's going to sound awful. It needs to be behind it. And also my delay, the delay pedal, you have to put it behind that too because I had it in front before. Ugh, sounded bad. Put it behind it, it was perfect. You know, just a little, you know, I had to put certain pedals in, in a certain way in the chain there, you know. So, yeah, man, so here comes this clip, Chasing the Sun. I just thought you might want to check it out. Uh, another loop pedal demo, if you will. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So let's check it out. Be right back. All right, so there it was, Chasing the Sun. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is the Boss RC3 Loop Station. Yes, Loop Station. And if you've never messed with a looper, look at some videos on YouTube. That's what I've done. I looked at a lot of videos, uh, and it's really cool. It'll tell you everything this, this pedal does. You know, there's a bunch of companies out there that do reviews on gear and pedals and stuff like that, and uh, it's fantastic, man. It's really good to uh, help you... Uh, work with your soloing on little short pieces of rhythm tracks uh, helps you stay in time 
all that stuff, man, it, it does a lot more than what you may realize. I mean, it really does. You know, if you really can't jam with other people or, you know, kind of like me, I don't have time for that. I can do stuff like this, just try to make up something. And there you go. You got an instant little track, you know, pretty fun. And there's a whole lot more this thing can do if I just, you know, I just got to take some time to to uh, be able to create a lot more textures. You know, this right here, what you just saw was pretty cut and dry and raw, but it's awesome for what this pedal does, you know. And if I'm not mistaken, this pedal cost me, uh, was it $173? $173, and this is the basic version. They have another one that's got the double pedal. And of course, a floor unit has about four or five pedals. So I just got this right here and it works. It works phenomenally well. Very happy with it. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. This is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. Please check the links down below, man. Check out the shirts, the Joe Wentz Project t-shirt in royal blue. We got hoodies. We even got aprons if you like to cook out or some people say barbecue. I say cook out or grill out. Down here in the south, if you say barbecue, we're talking about the actual food barbecues. We don't, you know, we don't say that. <laughs> Everybody's got their own way of saying stuff. Anyway, yeah, I've got some cool uh, grilling aprons, stuff like that, man. Bandanas, pins. You just have to click on the link and check. If you're interested in doing that, man, fantastic. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much. I would hope that you would subscribe, stick around, come back for more guitar-related videos, uh, driving my truck on the road. I like to do a vlog when I'm taking my 30 minute break, wherever I'm at for the night and chat with my friends. I don't say subscribers or fans or followers. I say friends because that's what we are, you know, friends, man. And I try my best to answer people's comments. The live streaming is a lot better for that because you can answer people right then and there. Uh, but actually answering, you know, people's comments on a video. So I try to do that the best I can. And it's, it's tough, man, sometimes, but I try. I try. So like I said, if you're new, welcome. I hope you stick around. Hope you come back again. Be safe out there. God bless. Have a good day, y'all. TheJonesProject.com